Well, good morning, my friends. So I don't know if you figured out where I'm standing, but I am standing underneath a big bridge. This is a big bridge close to our house, long and tall. <laughs> and whenever I go for my walks, my runs, I always go underneath this bridge close to the river. And it's a, it's a very pleasant place to walk and run. But you know, this bridge has some meaning to me. I've lately shared uh, quite a bit about how how God has been healing my heart and that journey kind of began like 15 years ago um, and so this bridge became meaningful to me in that I would often sit underneath here not exactly in this spot I would sit where the water is and I would just allow my tears to flow and it was like the tears became one with the river but you know what God was healing me and it was crucial for me to take that time and another uh, beautiful meaning with this bridge for me is that often I felt like, man, I'm walking underneath this bridge every day, but I would love to walk over it. I would love to be on top of, uh, <laughs> of everything in my life and have everything together and so on. But you know, it was a very crucial journey for me to walk through with, with Jesus together. And I'm here today to testify that he has done a wonderful work in my life. And I know that there is much more to come. And uh, so uh, the picture of this bridge always was a reminder for me that he was calling me to walk on a highway of grace. Grace is so crucial in our lives and if we cannot receive his grace into our lives, there is very little, little opportunity for us to really grow as he wants to grow us. And so uh, the highway of grace is what he called me to live on, to walk on, and uh, to uh, not be so down and, uh, and out about my life and how things have gone in my past, but to, to trust Him right now and with my future and to uh, live graciously towards myself, towards others. And you know, today I picked up an item on the road. <laughs> it is my 54th birthday, so it's kind of a special day and I knew that He would have maybe something a little bit special for me today and so I saw this item on the road and, and immediately I just thought no I, I I don't know that there's anything with that but I had passed it and I thought you know what I should actually pick that up and just ask the Holy Spirit what he wants to show me so I went back and I picked it up and so sure enough he has a bit of a special message for me today he says that he is well pleased with the decisions I've been making and that that I have um, learned more and more to live in His grace from day to day. And He wanted to show me today that just like these four um, wires are wound together, He, as the Father, and as His Son Jesus, and as the Holy Spirit, and me, all together, that he has done so much in my life and will continue to be with me and he has promised me over and over especially in the in the times that I was really struggling with a broken heart and so on and wondering how he would ever be able to heal me from everything that felt so broken in my life that had happened in my past and so today he's reminding me that that he the three of them together their goal always is to heal me completely. And that's exactly what I have been experiencing from him. And isn't that just amazing? And I know that that is the same thing he wants to do in your life. He wants to be together with you, wound together. <laughs> isn't that amazing? And the three of them, aren't they amazing and powerful and mighty? And they are so full of compassion and grace. I sure experienced that. And I know that he has a lot more that he wants to do in my life. And I'm excited about it. It's not always fun. But I know that the end result will be that I will be like him. And so today, I just want to encourage you all. Don't give up. You may be having something hard too that you're walking through or your heart may feel like it's in little pieces and so on. But you know, the Holy Spirit is there to heal us, to speak to us the Father's heart. And He is there to pick us up and to lead us into all truth so that we can truly walk in freedom and in healing and in His grace. You know, the, the time in my life that, I, that I've really... Um, I would say was kind of a very crucial time for me is about 15 years ago and he has been so 
so compassionate with me and I know that he will continue to be and I want to encourage you with that today do not be afraid of the Holy Spirit I know that a lot of us have grown up without having been taught about the Holy Spirit and and there's a sense of fear in us about it and you know what we do make some mistakes and sometimes we go too much with our feelings and think that that is the Holy Spirit but you know he is so faithful in teaching us about himself and who he is and how he leads and teaches and all that so I would encourage you don't be so afraid of the Holy Spirit he really wants to be a huge part in your life to lead you into all truth so that you can truly live a life of freedom a life of fellowship with him on a continual basis daily from day to day he wants to have communion with you and he wants to heal you i hope you have a wonderful day today